Hey everyone, this is Ron from eCoverSoftwarePro.com. This is a quick video that explains how to crop down your images uh, after creating them with eCover Software Pro. What we have here is our image loaded into the software, and I'm going to save this picture. And I'm going to save it over the original one that we had, it's example 7. I'm going to replace it and I'm going to open it up in GIMP file open okay So you'll notice in some of the images, depending on what cover you're using, you may have a little too much space around your image. If you're putting this into a website, this is valuable real estate all around here. So you want to make the image as tight as possible without shrinking it down or scaling or anything like that before you crop it. So go ahead and select your rectangle tool and create a rectangle around the image. Just make sure you don't get rid of any of the shading that appears. In this image it's all around the bottom and part of the right side here. So you can adjust your rectangle and there's no shading up there so it can be pretty tight there. Get in a little more here. Get in close there. And then just go to image crop to selection. All right, and this image was made with a width of 600 and a height of 600. But now, because we've cropped it, uh, we can go and look at the new dimensions. It's 448 by 408. So that's much smaller. And you're taking up much less room on your website. Now, if this image, depending on the original scaling, you decide that, oh man, this, uh, this image is too big for my site, you can scale it down. You can go to Image, Scale Image, and you can say, all right, I want my width to be 300. And just make sure you keep this uh, connected so that you don't warp your image. Don't separate them. So again, Image, Scale Image, and I'll go 300 scale. Okay, now you have a smaller image, 300 pixels in width, and it's still sharp, very clear, because you've made it smaller. You never want to make an image bigger than the original because the quality is going to get worse. If you need to make it bigger, just create your original image bigger. So make your width 800 by 800, or 1,000 by 1,000, or whatever it is. But here you'll have a sharp, crisp image. Just go ahead and file it and save as and give it a new name. You can call it example 7 underscore 300 pixels or whatever it is so that you know what you're saving it as. And just click save and save again. And then we can look at our new image. And there it is, a 300 pixel in width, sharp, professional, if I may say so, awesome looking e-cover, ready to go on your site or your print material or anything else. Again, visit us at eCover Software Pro and email us at support at eCoverSoftwarePro.com. Thank you as always.